Hello and how are you doing? It is me, Elise Lightyear, and I'm back with another video about apartments. At this point, you have seen me search for an apartment, the struggles of finding one, and then a tour of my empty apartment. Now it is time to show you the fruits of my labor, and you get to watch me unpack and a fully furnished apartment tour. Now, mind you, the apartment tour is at the end of the video, so go ahead and use those chapters below to skip through all of the unpacking if you're not interested. All right, here is a little refresher about my process of moving and finding an apartment. So over the summer, I found the perfect apartment that was in my budget, but the landlord and I weren't seeing eye to eye and she didn't want to rent to me. Luckily, I was able to find a similar apartment in the same community and hired a mover and the process of moving happened in a day. Now let's continue the story with the unpacking, the decorating, and the furniture shopping. Hello there. It is day two of my moving vlog. I guess that's what this is that I'm making. I have hired an IE, a cleaning lady, and I've booked her for three hours, which costs 150 kwai per hour. She doesn't speak English, and obviously my Chinese is not good enough to explain to her. So before she came, I kind of listed everything out in the translator. I told her that the, that the previous tenants used to have cats and so I'm trying very hard to get the cat hair everywhere because it's driving me crazy and it's only been 24 hours so so she's been really awesome and cleaning and I'm cleaning along with her she just finished cleaning upstairs and I am deep cleaning the refrigerator the washer the sink and the stove I've gotten for unpacking. I moved my suitcases up here. I got my dresses and skirts put away. to finally find me a couch at the one and only Ikea. Yes, there is Ikea in China. The couch that is currently in the apartment is not even a real couch. It's just two sad Ottomans with some pillows and it's extremely low to the ground and very uncomfortable. So I gotta get a new couch. Yes, I could buy one from Taobao online, but I'm very skeptical and hesitant and I need to sit and experience the couch before I spend money on it. So here I am at the very expensive Chinese Ikea. Welcome to Amy's crib. This is Amy's home. <laughs> <laughs> The only time that you can get on the furniture at Ikea at nighttime because no one else is here. Cool. <laughs> the hunt for a couch is on. We have made it to the couch section and we are going to sit on a bunch of sofas. And fingers crossed I can find something that I really like and is comfortable. No way. Yeah, look, and it comes in some cute colors. Oh my like, god. Like this green one is kind of fun. This right? green one is 34. Yeah. I like the green. Really? Yeah. This feels giant. Like it could fit four people. This is so great. A lot softer than it yeah. looks. Okay. It's not bad. It's sizable. Yeah. Oh, it's actually <laughs> super comfy. It's not that comfy. I like it. It's a little stiff. Comfort wise, how are you feeling? It's not that comfy. I think the other ones were sat on that one. It comes in another color. It comes in gray. Yeah, gray. But the cushion, like the cheaper couch is yeah. softer than this. Yeah. And also white. Yeah. This almost is kind of like a hard memory Yeah, it foam. is. It, it is quite like hard. That. But it feels big and it's cheap. Oh. <laughs> is that a no? It's a maybe. Extremely comfortable. I mean, just look at Amy. 
<laughs> Living her best life on this couch. Yeah, I'm not moving. Yeah, this is super chill, super comfy. I think this may be the winner. I don't know. I'm really liking this couch. And it's a very good price point. The worst case scenario, the day after tomorrow. Oh, okay. But I won't be home, so I want it to be on the weekend. Oh. Uh, delivery. Uh, install. Uh-huh. Uh, Tuesday. Afternoon. My couch delivery will be here soon. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Ah! The old couch is now successfully hidden under my bed and my living room is ready to accept my brand new IKEA couch. Oh. 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 Oh wow. So many things. I don't know how people can put this all together by themselves. It could not be me. The gang is all here. Wow. There it all is. <coughs> oh wow, 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 wow. Time Pialion. Okay. Shishini. Already so in love with this couch. I put my pillows here. I got my blanket. I'm watching Netflix. This new couch life feels so good. <laughs> so much crap I've got. But let me give you a tour of the new place. I'm standing in what would be the dining room entryway area. Okay, the moment you have all been waiting for is here. Welcome to my home. My dining room table. The table was here when I moved in, but I bought these chairs on Taobao. Here's my water machine, and then this is my coat rack and shoe rack. It's just currently filled with a bunch of boots and my winter coats. And behind the door here, I have a mini gallery wall that I put together myself. Incredible piece of artwork by a friend of mine named Leo Ba that perfectly captures all of Beijing, all of the quirks about Beijing. And then meat under the panda's ass. This was a Christmas gift from Blondie in China, AKA Amy. As you see, I got my beautiful brand new couch. This rug belonged to one of my good friends and he gave it to me before he left China. I don't know if it really matches the room, but whatever. All these pictures together cost about 17 US dollars and came in a pack from Taobao and I just put them up myself. In the short time that I have had my couch, it is very lived on. That are all velvety. The fringe pillow is my favorite. And then the very boring TV stand and TV. And once you come into the living room, you just look up and there is the loft space. Go into the bathroom. Yes siree. And now we are in the bathroom. Yeah, there's the toilet and my uh, collection of feminine products. It is very possible to get tampons in China, ladies. And then uh, here's my shower. Okay, let's go upstairs. My stairway is decorated with thousands of Polaroids. So many Polaroids throughout the years. All of my friends and family from back home to all of the wonderful places I've been here in China. Here is the first kind of bedroom 
area. Then we go up the steps and into my Moroccan inspired tea room. It was really important for me to have a comfy, cozy little nook in my apartment that could double as a second bedroom. This is actually a mattress pad that I stapled a rug to, so it's quite comfy. It's like a real mattress that you can sleep on. That is a real window back there with a view of the building behind me. Here I have my lovely shelf of photos and fake plants. Pictures of my friends, picture of me and my mom, a painting that someone on the street did for me of me and my grandpa, favorite picture of my dog. Let's show you the master bedroom. Eventually I will buy a bed and I will put the bed frame right here and put the mattress and the mattress topper on top of it. Welcome to my bedroom. There is my lovely Ikea bed and my lovely Sam's Club rug. Yes, we have Sam's Club in China. Here is one of the 70,000 shelves that were in this apartment that I couldn't hide and it's just decorated with some plants and a cup of water. Then next to the window, I have my air purifier, which is another thing that is very necessary when you live in the Beijing and the pollution is not great. As you can see, this is my bed. I got these nice, lovely windows. Here's the thing that I really dislike about my bedroom is this wall right here. So anytime I go to open or close the curtains, I have to duck down because I am too tall to fit under here. It's actually very uncomfortable. I've hit my head many a times. So, oh, gotta, so gotta be careful with this. Gotta be careful. Uh, as I lay in bed, I've got a view of my living room, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, coming out of my bedroom, here on the left, we have closet number one. This is my mini closet, uh, also from Ikea. This whole structure, it used to be in my old apartment and I brought it here with me. It's got all of my winter, spring clothes out now. Then we've got the third bedroom area slash office. So here we have my giant desk that surprisingly is always this clean because I, the only thing I use this desk for is my computer. My computer usually goes on this stand. I have nothing to put here. And then directly behind my desk is closet number two. Um, this is also another space for a mattress to go, but that just seems crazy to have like three mattresses in my apartment. So instead I put a rug here because it is very inconvenient to have to climb all the way up here to get to this closet. So in this closet, we've got suitcases, jackets, dresses, pajamas, sheets. I don't even know what else is in there. Mothballs and stuff. This is the second closet space. <laughs> So I just wanna show you how inconvenient it is to have my closet on this big platform and why it's only jackets and dresses. Like when summer comes, I will switch everything that is in this closet to the other one because this is the process to get my clothes. While I'm up here, I might as well hang these clothes up. Yeah, I don't know who designed this and why they designed it like this because I'm a pretty short person. I'm only five foot one, 162 centimeters, and this is extremely inconvenient. But whatever, at least I have two closets. And that's my apartment tour. If you have questions about how to rent an apartment in China or how much it is, then you can check out my previous videos about my apartment search and the move-in process. They are jam-packed, all of the information. This was simply an update about how I'm living now. And as you can see, your girl is living large. My apartment is my queendom, my safe space, my haven. So I just feel incredibly blessed and highly favored for having such a wonderful place and being able to afford it and being able to have my friends over and being able to show you how good 
you can live in China. I am so appreciative and thankful for each and every one of you who leave nice words, who tell me that they love me, who tell me I'm an inspiration. I love you guys, really. You make my YouTube journey so much more fun. You make my mom very happy when she reads all of the comments. And I'm just so glad that I have been able to foster this little community and share connections with you guys. And I really, really, really hope that you all have the chance to visit China in the future when the world is safe and the borders are open. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. Thanks again for watching, for liking, for sharing this channel with your friends and your family. It really means a lot to me that I am able to share my experiences living abroad and have people connect and inspire others to do the same. So keep on watching. And as always, Elise Lightyear, over and out.